obviously NIL is all the story now, but also the transfer portal. So how have NIL and the transfer portal changed the college basketball landscape? Yeah, I mean, I think it's anybody that's tell you that they have uh, the blueprint of what NIL should look like, walk away from them because they don't know. I mean, it's it's still so much up in the air about how this thing is really going to settle out. They're trying to get Congress involved, which I, I think is not the way to go. I think it should be something you know similar to um, the way the NBA operates with its players, where it should be collectively bargained. Um, to where the, the players got to some, at some point have some type of representation. Um, you know, if they never have any representation to speak on their behalf, then things are always going to be, you know, lopsided. And I think that's what, you know, Cory Booker and these guys and, um, you know, in Congress are seeing that these, these, these kids deserve money. I mean, it, it's come down. And that's why you're seeing these, these NIL deals, the transfer portal. Um, I, I'm not a... Uh, I don't hate the transfer portal. I like the fact if, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. Like you have a kid to come in and maybe, you know, come find out and I've had that happen where you're just not this level mm -hmm. and you need to make it. And I, I need to go and replace him right away. I don't need to, you know, have you replace him and the guy have to sit out a year. Mm -hmm. So I like the one-time transfer. Um, I like that these guys have been able to, to, to make, you know, money off of their name, in, you know, image and likeness. I mean, hell, I wish I could go back retroactive and get some of the money that was made off of, of mine. But, um, you know, we got, at the same time, we just got to find a way right now. It's kind of like the wild, wild west. And, you know, unfortunately, um, that I, you know, I got the support from, um, you know, donors and everything that is not going to allow us to develop ta talent and allow other, you know, other teams to come up and, and steal our talent. So we got to step up to, to the table and 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 try to figure out, what, you know, kind of market value. Be be fair to these guys, but at the same time, there's a lot of you know kind of rogue agents that's in these guys' yeah. ears that that's giving them a lot of misinformation, trying to get them to jump into the portal to test the water, you know, telling them that this 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 um they're, they're behind the scenes calling different coaches and. Um, different staff members and saying if, if if this guy gets in the portal, what what would you do? And it's just a it's a shit show right now. But I, I think ultimately it it'll, it'll get you know settled down. But um, it's, but it's, again, it's about the right people. You get the right people that come in about the right thing and start with those families. I mean, I, I signed guys this year um, and other teams, uh, even though they've committed to us, have still come in and tried to try to steal them. But I got good kids and good parents that they, they decide. And, and, and I don't know, you know what I'm saying? If somebody would have told me that I've, you know, it's a lot of these families never seen three or $400,000 at one time. They come again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three or $400,000 at one time. That's, that's some of the, 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 the going numbers for uh, guys that's <laughs> averaging 13. 14 points. I ain't even talking about 20. 13, 14 points can garner you, you know, three, four hundred, maybe even five hundred thousand dollars. Man, we need to go back there. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey man, I, I, they gonna have to. They have to fire me for coming in. And be like, yeah, I need three hundred thousand. Yeah. I'm like, that's cool. Yeah. I need. I need 25 points a game. Game run team. Yeah, right. Exactly, and that's if, why I don't if you don't either. guarantee me twenty five, I because my money guaranteed right here. Right. If you don't guarantee me twenty five, how much can I take off? Right. right. How much can right. I take right. off? How much can I take off? Because right. that's how we're gonna do that. How much they, can I take off? They, you, don't, you, they don't want the take off part. <laughs> they want to just and then like I said, it's like and a lot of them are getting promised this money and not even getting them because there's no contract to to really. Mm. To have them locked in. I mean, guys are just lying, telling you coming here for a certain certain amount and. They never see it. Yeah, I already told my son, you ain't getting no NIL, man. You got to earn your shit, right? You, you got to earn it. You ain't, college is one thing, the pros are where you get paid. So you're not going to sit here in high school thinking about money and then you think that's professional. Yeah. Nah. But a lot of these guys, like, that's never going to, you know, make it at the, the highest level. It's, yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's a pretty it's good thing. It's a pro, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I but, thought they said that's saw something where they put the, the game together, just the, the money that NCAA generates for just college football, uh, basketball, and uh, women's basketball could pay all of those guys almost $400,000 a piece. Yeah. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. And that's not even like, the I mean, and that's still maybe a 60 40 split with 60 going to the school. That's yeah. just 40% that could do that. but they want to use the 
all of it, saying that that 40 percent is need to take care of all of the other sports, all of the, you know, the non-revenue sports. And but but it's like, man, you got to say in these sports, most of these guys look like you and I, mm -hmm. you know, they, they look like us. Yeah. So so they are responsible for taking care of all of these other Nine revenue sports. A lot of them are country cup sports too. Just yeah. to be real, like they got to they got to come out their pockets. How about using some of that endowment to do that? Exactly. But they don't want me talking about that shit. So they, they, you know, they, they, <laughs> no, but, but we appreciate. And the last question I got for you. So you mentioned before you got other coaches, other programs trying to come in, poach some of your guys, yeah, get some. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be real. If I'm a college coach. And you tell me you're going to play for you at Vanderbilt, I'm just going to take that L. Like, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not going to f*** with Stack because I don't want him to pull up on me. I don't want to have to see him at, you know, Final Four, <laughs> any of these spots, and for it to be an issue. But do you have to now see these guys on the recruiting trail and at these different uh, yeah. AAU events yeah, and whatnot I, after I mean, they try to steal a player? I done checked down on a couple okay. of them. <laughs> <laughs> I done, done, you know, so done pulled up on a couple of them. I checked down on a couple of them for sure, man. It's just like they, they start these crazy narratives that, I mean, like every, every spring, um, I'm going to the NBA. I mean, it's just some, it's a random story out of a college basketball site that's saying that Jerry Stackhouse is going, I mean, they, they link me to Detroit Pistons, they link me to every, every open job. And I have to, you know, in recruiting, you know, parents want to know, am I going to be here? So I have to, you know, squelch all of that. And as a, when I should be talking about, you know, the, the academics of Vanderbilt, how we can help you improve, I have to sit here and, 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 and squelch rumors about, you know, me leaving and going into the NBA because, you know, and it ain't just the, 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 the white guys doing it. It's the guys that look just like us. It's, it's, it's creating these narratives too. So it's, it's, it's a dirty, dirty, dirty ass game. But at the same time, um, I love it. I love, I love the fact that I'm teaching, you know, these young guys, helping them get better. Um, I'm at a world-class, you, know, uh, you know, university. That I mean, bar I mean, second to none. I mean, almost at, at an Ivy League status. So it almost, you know, I get we alleviate some of the riff raff, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so and, but and, and we get get good kids um, that are going. You know, if they don't play basketball, they're gonna go do some special things um, anyway. So I, I feel very fortunate to be there. What rules would you change, like with the NILs? Would you take out agents? Um, that dirty is, you know, the, the the dirty part of the game where someone can see your player and say, hey, 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 you know, we got something for you. Come over here next year. And like, what would you take out of it right now before any like real rules to keep it? Yeah, I just think, I just think they need to be certified. I mean, they need to have, you know, some because you get all these guys that's coming in and all the thing they're trying to do is use these kids to to get something for themselves. I mean, mm -hmm. I've, I've had, I've seen it where the agent, you know, can't even get a guy in the, in the G League mm -hmm. uh, combine. I ain't even talking about the regular combine. You can't <laughs> even get him in the G League combine. Um, a guy called me uh, to, uh, about, the, do you want the kid to go to the G League combine? Uh, yeah, it's cool. All right. Yeah. But mm -hmm. your so-called agent couldn't even get you in there. Why are you with this agent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not paying. I'm not negotiating with no no agent. Whatever I do for you, whatever we decide to do as far as NIL is because it's what we want to do, not because we're getting pressure from from any agent mm -hmm. or, that, or that you feel like you're threatened to threaten us by by going somewhere else, man. Like I said, it's um, just it's not that it's not at that level. But but again, you know, it's uh, it's, it's it's a crazy game. We're, we're figuring it out. Nobody really has all the answers, but at the same time, we're we're trying to. Um, navigated the, the best we can.